Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am giving a small introduction about user interface designing. So before that, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and to get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. Right? So let me begin the explanation of user interface design process. So what is a user interface design? So user interface design is a subset of a field that is called as human computer interaction. In simple words, right? If you want to interact with a computer, how you can interact with the computer? What are the ways to interact with the computer? Right? This subject user interface design is all about the interactions, the process of interactions that you are going to use to interact with your system, that is computer. So in, in another words, I can tell that human computer interaction is the study and it's a planning, it's a design, right, of how people and computers work together so that the person needs are satisfied in most effective way. That means, if a person wants to interact with the computer, how you can interact, right? So, I have to make a proper planning for this type of interactions and I have to do a better design. So, when, I, when the design is better, obviously user will be satisfied, right? When he interacts with the computer. For example, you can see here so a user right user is is nothing but a is a human being right so human being or a user can interact with the computer using a interface right so interface is nothing but a it's like a bridge between the user and the computer user can use the computer using a interface for example operating system is the interface right between the user and the computer using the operating system he can interact with the computer so this interface designing not only uh, operating system so this uh, overall this interface designing is going to tell about other types of interfaces also right the, uh, it is going to tell different different types of design process that can make a better uh, a better interface designing right so in simple words, user interface designing is going to tell how a human and a computer are going to interact with the means of interface. You have to make a better design. Interface should be designed more in a more better way, right? So you can see here, this is the example of a Windows 10 operating system interface. So, I am giving so many different options for the user to interact with the computer. He can interact with the computer using this operating system interface. Right, you can see start menu is there, right. So, you can click on the start menu, you can click on the user account, you can click on the start button, you can click on the notification area. So, in simple words, so you can interact with the interface by using a pointing device like mouse or a keyboard. This is a simple example of a interface. So this interface contains like uh, icons you can see here. These are nothing but icons. So in the same way it contains search box, right? Notification area. So these are tiles. So, so I can uh, I can design this type of interfaces, right? So user can use this type of interfaces to interact with the computer. This is the simple example of a Windows operating system interface, Windows 10. So while designing the interface, I can use this type of uh, what I can call this as objects. So see, notification area is one object 
system icons, search box, start button, tiles, all are nothing but these are nothing but objects. So in the next uh, videos, coming videos, I'm going to tell about graphical user interfaces in a more detailed way. But for this video, you have to just understand that for a human, for a user to interact with the computer, you need one type of interfacing. So that interfacing should be designed right in such a way that it should be for the user to remember the things right and to interact with the system. So you can see here the user interface is part of a computer. Obviously, it is a part of the computer. So your operating system, is, your OS is also a part of the computer. Once you install the OS in a computer, you can interact with the computer. Otherwise, you know, otherwise you can't interact with the computer. You know that, right? So the user interface of a computer, right, can be uh, used by the people. That means they can see the interface. They can. Uh, uh, talk with the interface that means voice input they can give the voice input also not only uh, they can use a mouse or a keyboard they can give input through voice also that's why uh, right so people can see the interface they can uh, uh, hear the output in the form of sound also they can talk also right they can tell the computer to do the things so they can tell the computer to do the things, right? So they can do their tasks. It is possible. Huh? By using the interface, they can interact with the computer and they can make the computer work, right? And one more important thing, if I say a user interface, user interface has essentially two components, input and output, because, so you can see here, uh, to interact with this interface, I need a mouse. I need a mouse pointing device or a keyboard to interact with this interface that's why while you're designing the interface the input is important what type of input device you are using is important not only that if when you click on the interface obviously some things will open right for example in in this uh, tiles if you click on any of these tiles something will open it will uh, open the new window that means output Output will uh, will be seen on the interface, right? That's why, why if you are designing the interface, you need to consider what type of input you are using. That is mouse or a keyboard or other type of input devices. And also along with that, what type of output you are going to get when interacting with the interface. For example, when you click on something, you, you may get the uh, output. So output may be in the form of diagrams or it it may be in the form of uh, different formats so that's why so you need to consider that also what type of output formats you are going to get uh, in an interface for example your output may be in image format or your output may be in sound audio format like that different different inputs uh, in the same way different different outputs are also possible right so that's why while designing the interface what type of input devices you are using the, you need to consider that and also what type of output I'm going to get uh, in that interface that also you need to consider right next input means is how people communicate his needs to the system using a keyboard or any point device I already told you that input means how a people is going to communicate using a keyboard or a pointing device and output is how the system returns the result th through you uh, result to the user through screen Maybe your result may be displayed in the screen or through some audio, you can see the result. So in different different formats, you can uh, receive the results. That is possible, right? So you can see here. So if you are using a mouse, uh, you can click on the interface. When you click on the interface, uh, that uh, particular icon will open, right? So now new window can new window will be opened so you can interact with that window. This is just an example of how a different different interface designing mouse click designing I can use. See while designing the interface I can design these type of uh, different styles for the mouse clicks for uh, clicking for press for pressing the button for clicking the button like that. Uh, in simple words, I don't want to confuse you guys. 
this is just a example of how uh, i can um, uh, how i can tell the user that you can interact with a user uh, that you, he can interact with using a mouse right so you can interact with the mouse by clicking on any of this like that right this is a simple example and one more thing the best interface is one which has proper design with combination of effective and in input and output mechanisms so right so when in simple words while designing the interface you need to choose a proper combination of input and output mechanisms first of all you have to choose what type of input device you are going to use for this type of interface majority in majority of the cases right uh, keyboard and mouse will be the obvious choices but not only that along with the, if you are using a mobile then the so if you are using a desktop the interface will be different if you are using a mobile then the interface will be uh, different that's why uh, in what type of device in what type of input devices you are using uh, that is very important while designing based on that you have to take the decisions if for a mobile it will be different for the desktop it will be different in the same way output things also uh, can vary because if you are using a mobile uh, you can uh, hear the uh, output through speakers if you are using a desktop also you have to connect the speakers externally right or else uh, if you are using the um, mobile the output will be Uh, fitted to the size of the mobile but if you are using the uh, desktop the output will be different right you have to consider those things also while designing the interface right guys so that's it it is a very simple introduction still if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video